Am I too late? You're starting to pack up. <laughs> How much do you have on this? Five. Thank you. I'm good. How are you all? Could I make a little pile? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I know you said five on that. How about these two here? Miss for this new skin thing for the bath and the shower. Two? Oh, perfect. And then this is five. That's five as well. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. I'll keep looking. <laughs>
we were going to sell it by the box that we're putting oh. it up, so just whatever you got Gotcha, want. thank you very much. Perfect. <laughs> what do I owe you for these? Nine dollars. Nine dollars, alrighty. Do you have change by chance? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have a lovely day. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Am I too late? You're starting to pack up. Is it okay if I look at the bags? Yeah. Is it? Thank you very much. They're, uh, we started knocking everything down. They weren't yeah. ten dollars. They're five dollars. Oh, gotcha. Thank you very much. Have you been busy today? Oh, yes. Wonderful. Yes, That's yes. Good. Good day. Wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. Now, everything in there is free. Oh, good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Little kids don't like turkeys, dear. <laughs> I'm going to get two of your purses if okay. that's okay. Uh -huh. So $10? Ten. Well, thank you so much uh -huh. for letting me look. I appreciate uh, it. You. you have a lovely day. Uh -huh. All right, you guys. Here is what I bought. So let me take you through them. We're going to take you through the purses first really quickly. So um, I pulled up at this yard sale and they were actually closing. They were sort of putting everything away in boxes, but this did still have some purses hanging. And I asked them if they wouldn't mind if I looked at those purses while they were packing up. They said, no, not at all. Um, and she told me that everything had been $10 a piece, but now they were half price, they were $5 a piece. So that's great. Um, so I picked out two, as you can see, this one is a Brighton purse um, and it's really beautiful. It's like a large tote and all of this is embroidered. So really nice piece. And then it has the tassel detail on the leather. And then this one is a new to me brand, but I looked at really quickly because the quality was there and it's such a beautiful color like the camera doesn't really do it justice it's very much a teal color with this brown trim um and the brand is b Mikowski. i think i'm saying that right anyway the comps looked like they were fine. I decided for $5 to give this one a go as well because the style is just so nice and there's really very minimal wear to it at all. Okay, and then this one. So I went back and forth so much on a upright, an upright vacuum, a Dirt Devil. It was a vintage one, Dirt Devil Royal. Some comps were like 200 and some were like 25 and it was i couldn't find anything with the exact like model number i was just going back and forth i had no idea if it even worked eventually i decided to leave it behind because i didn't think it was going to fit in my car <laughs> and that was the only reason i put it aside and i talked to the guy a little bit so i decided to sort of pass on it this time but it may be something i do a little bit more research into those vintage dirt devils just so i'm prepared in the future so this is what i grabbed anyway uh hmm I know, right? So $2 on this. Adopt a Norfin Troll. Anyway, their comps looked interesting. I think I could maybe get like 15 to 20 for this guy. New with tags. I hope he goes soon. <laughs> Don't listen. Um, 
This one, I couldn't find any exact comps on this. So the brand is New Skin. Now, when I looked it up on eBay, it brought up a load of like products, like skin products, and those were going for like 30 to 35. This is the dispenser. So it's, it's called the New Skin Fountain and it dispenses all of the different products. I'm wondering if it's for use in like maybe a salon or something. I don't know. Anyway, it seemed to be basically new in its package. Like I couldn't see any signs of wear whatsoever and that was $2. So I figured I'm just going to go wild card with that and give it a go and then this little or not so little lady um is a 1992 mattel Barbie doll. I guess she was called maybe the life-size Barbie doll. Now she does have a little bit of wear. She has a little bit of scratching to her neck and something hideous happened to her fingers, unfortunately. But other than that, she's absolutely fine. Uh, when you get dolls, there are definitely places that you can check to see if they have markings. You can check on the back of the neck or the base of the head, um, which I think she actually has some marks right there. Yes, she does. Oh, this one actually says 1976. Hmm. That's interesting. I think her back says something different down here. Okay, so her body says 1992, but her head says 1976. So I don't really know what to do with that now. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'll figure it out. But anyway, she's absolutely huge. And um, comps looked anywhere from like 40 to 70 with her damage. I definitely think she'll be going on the lower end. But she cost me $5. And this is definitely different from what I have... Uh, tried to sell before so if i'd have seen the fingers honestly i probably would have passed on her i didn't notice until i got home but i still think there's profit to be made all right you guys thank you so much for hanging out and watching this video and if you enjoyed it please do think about giving it a thumbs up if you're new here and you like thrifty content please do think about hitting the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you can see when the next video goes up i'll catch you in the next one bye you guys